Hi everyone, today I'm drawing Raven from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my welcome tablet, but you can follow through my tutorial with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayons. So I'm gonna start with drawing the surrounding of his face so I'm gonna start at the top part of his face that opening so I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the point from the center center here I'm gonna draw towards downwards like that and then also to the right side the same shape like that and then from the left corner I'm gonna do a curve line and turn it down and then continue that curve downwards and then I'm gonna curve that towards the center of the face like that now on the right side I'm gonna draw this at uh, from this point a A line inwards to this corner and then turn it back out and from this point I'm gonna draw downwards and curve it out and in back in and then I'm gonna go down and meet up with the point that we done earlier all right now I'm gonna draw the eye so we're gonna draw two ovals in between of this shape so I'm gonna start at slightly off the center here and draw an oval shape a tilted oval shape and then the other one on the left All right on the left side of the face I'm gonna trace that line and make that side a thin portion of um, that space and then from this point I'm gonna go with veer off slightly and make a, a semicircle upside down and go to the back and then I'm gonna continue that line up to this point okay now I'm gonna draw from the front part of the face a line horiz um, horizontally like this and then below that I'm gonna draw a short line downwards like this and then trace that line to the side on the right side and stop there and then I'm gonna draw below the front part some curve lines beginning with this one and then another one and then another one at the left side like this and then another one going downwards and another one like that and then at the sides I'm gonna add another curve and curve and go downwards and then from that point I'm gonna go to the right and upwards to this corner like that and then I'm gonna draw the feathers at the side of his face so we're gonna draw um, some curve lines here like that and turn it in and out and then go out again and create that sharp tip and mirror that shape to the other side and go back to the point where we started and in the middle of the shape we're gonna draw a curve line slightly up to the tip but not until the tip we're gonna stop almost at the tip then we then we repeat that shape to the back of the head some more feather this time a bit longer outwards and 
the middle part and we're gonna do another one same shape in the middle part and again at the back of the head and the back part we're gonna just do um, a sharp shape like that and a line in the middle and then the last one will be a small tip like that and for the left side we're gonna do the same thing and do the exact same shape but on in this direction like that okay now I'm gonna move to the shoulders now on the right side I'm gonna draw a line and then I'm gonna do a curve line from this point up to that point that we just draw a curve line like that and then going outwards and stop there and now I'm gonna do the shredded sleeve so we're gonna do a series of short curve line like that and then go in and then go out again and then go in and then we're gonna go out again we're gonna go in and then we're going to go out and back to that point and for the arms I'm gonna make a curve here like that and then for the outside the line for the outer lines of the arms I'm gonna draw a curve line slightly longer and then the elbow and a curve towards the center of his body like that so for the sleeve on the left side I'm gonna repeat the same shape with a short line and then going out a curved line going back in going out and back in and then I'm gonna draw from this point going down with a curve line up to this point now I'm gonna draw his um, arms on the left so I'm gonna start at this point a curve line towards the right arm like that and up there and then from the this point on the arms on the right I'm gonna draw a curve line towards the left arm and go slightly downwards and then continue that point up to his el elbow on the left and turn it upwards up to the sleeve and this point where his um, left wrist is I'm gonna just stop that up to his right arm Now for his glove, I'm gonna draw a line from this point and make a curve line downwards and then I'm gonna repeat that shape and trace offset here and there I'm gonna draw a few more similar line across his arms like over here and then over here as well and here and here 
and then here and here and here and a short line here all right and some details to his um, glove I'm gonna draw a curve line here and then I'm gonna go to the horizontal point here and make another curve line there now for his sleeve uh, for his strap on this at the side of his body I'm gonna draw a line curve line downwards to his arms and another same similar shape on this side here and then uh, two lines across midpoint of that strap the same goes to the other side and two lines across at the midpoint now below the arms I'm gonna draw two lines at both sides there and there and curve it in and then I'm gonna connect those two points with a horizontal line and then at this point I'm gonna draw a line downwards same goes to the right side and then I'm gonna draw at this this side on the right side a rectangular storage space for at the at his belt like that and then we're gonna draw another rectangular shape on top of that on top on the top portion here like that and then a line across for the line of his first belt on on the bottom part and then his second belt we're gonna draw another line on the bottom of that the same as to the back part now at the pouch that you have on the right side I'm gonna draw some feather a similar shape that we have drawn around the head this time going downwards like that I'm gonna draw four of them here another one there and the last one at the back don't forget the middle part of the the feather like that and then I'm gonna draw um, on the left side those feathers as well but we're gonna draw it very thin because we're looking at it at the side view so it's gonna look very thin as such like that And then his outfit below we're gonna draw some shredded pieces of cloth so we're gonna do some random shapes here like that and that and curve lines and just like that and from the point that I've stopped I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards and then I'm gonna draw upwards I'm gonna draw again continuing that line going downwards and towards the right and make a similar shape and from the last point here I'm gonna draw a line across upwards to the feather on the right And on the left side, we're gonna draw a line downwards 
all the way down and stop here and then I'm gonna take that point and offset a bit as you go up you go thicker and meet at the feather on the left in between of his leg I'm gonna draw a line like that And then for his leg on the right, I'm going to draw a few curve lines going out and then back in and then out and then back in. And then I'm going to do a semicircle and like that. And then I'm going to draw the mini piece that he have. And I'm gonna draw from this point, I'm going to go upwards and make a curve line and then turn it to the side and go down and then go up again and go stop there. And at this point here, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards on that side of the shoes. Okay? And then I'm gonna draw a circle in front of that. like that and then I'm gonna draw a line like that and go down same goes on the right side here and go and go down and now I'm gonna draw the side of his leg here so we're gonna draw a curved line downwards and slide the in and then back out and then I'm gonna draw the front of the shoes and curve that to the right and turn and go upwards slightly to the left and then we're going to go up to the side on the right like that now I'm gonna draw a rectangle in front of the shoes at the it around the ankle here in front of the ankle a rectangle and then I'm gonna start at this point at the side of the sh shoes and make a semicircle and stop here and then make a niche like that and then continue that to the other side of the shoes and in front, I'm going to do another curve line without the niche. Now, there are some details at the shoes, so I'm going to draw a line across on this point. Like that. And another line downwards, like that. And then at this point, I'm going to do a similar, but towards the left, like that and then another one below here and then I'm gonna repeat that shape slightly below like that I'm gonna add a few lines in the middle here and like that and now I'm gonna do his leg on the left a similar shape the front part of the pants I'm gonna do some curve line here and then the kneecap I'm gonna do um, some curve line like that and then going downwards and then go back up and then go back down And then in front of the kneecap, I'm gonna draw a curve line like that. And then another curve line like that. For this leg, I'm gonna draw the back part of the, the pants. So I'm gonna draw a few curve lines in and out and go to the front. 
Now I'm gonna draw the basic shape of the lower part of his legs here. So in front, I'm gonna draw a straight line downwards. And then at the back line, back of the foot, I'm gonna draw a line, a short line downwards, and then go to the side. And then slightly off from the back part of that shape, I'm gonna draw a curved line downwards and towards the front and go back out and then go back in and down okay for the front of the shoes we're gonna draw a rectangular shape as well just like the other foot so I'm gonna draw a rectangle there like that and then the front of the shoes I'm gonna draw curved line like that and then make a sharp tip and go back to the back now I'm gonna replicate the same details of the shoes so I'm gonna draw that niche and a curved line to the bottom of the shoes and another one in front without the niche and then in front of here I'm gonna draw the line across and downwards and then from this point I'm gonna draw a line from the front here I'm gonna draw to the back a line and another line offset slightly down and then from this point I'm going to draw a line across and another one at the bottom then replicate the two shapes slightly down here and then a few lines in between And at the side here, I'm going to draw a few more details of his um, shredded cloth. So we're going to do a few random shapes here. Like that. And then also at the right side. And a circle here. I mean an oval. For the belt, I'm going to draw a few more details. Um, for the upper belt, I'm going to draw from this point the short line downwards like that and then to the side and then to downwards and then to the left and then go down. Same goes to this other side, down to the left, down to the right and down. And then at the sides, I'm going to draw a line downwards across, like that. And the same goes to this side. And then for the second belt that he have below that, I'm going to draw from this point a line downwards and then a line downwards on this side. And then I'm going to draw a rectangular shape in between of that buckle. And then I'm going to draw two small rectangles at the sides here, like that. We can add a few more details, one at the pouch there. So I'm going to draw uh, an across stitch with two lines like this and like that. And also at the bottom part here, I'm going to draw a few lines like that. A few more slightly at the back.
and a few at the sleeves. And I think we're done with Raven. And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy the lesson and find my videos helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to let me know of your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below.